What are some of the things that, that you do to really try not to focus on someone's outward appearance, but as the Savior teaches us, to focus on the heart? I come back to a statement by C.S. Lewis that when we treat people the way that they were intended to be treated as divine beings who have the potential to become like God, we see them differently. Uh, and uh, I, I think that when we treat people with that mindset, it's very easy to say, okay, they probably are doing the best they can mm -hmm. and they have their, their best intentions at heart. Thanks, Josh. Matt? Yeah, absolutely. I, th I think it is so easy just to see what's going on on the outside, whether it be what seems to be a really prosperous person or a really mean person or a, whatever. Uh, and I think it's really important to remember that, that everyone is struggling uh, it, with, with something. Everyone's got things that they're wrestling with that they're trying to work through, whether it be family issues or personal issues or things from their past. And uh, I, I think that it's important to try to keep that in mind, that no matter what you see on the outside, this is a human being or a child of God who is struggling with deep stuff and you don't always mm -hmm. see the deep things that they're wrestling with. And so I think just assuming, just as a default position that, that this person is wrestling with some things, I think just engenders a lot more compassion and a lot more mercy. And it's like, yeah, that was a hurtful thing to do or say, but uh, I'm just going to give you the benefit of the doubt, um, which obviously in most, in some cases, you, you know, it's obviously more complex than that. But, uh, but I think just, just as a general rule, just assuming the best of others and assuming that they're struggling with things that, that may come out in different ways, um, I think can help orient us in this way.